We're going to cover the procedure of checking the outside diameter of each of the driven shafts on a typical tube or pipe mill. Why is it important to maintain the OD of a driven shaft? Well, obviously, we have a slip fit when we put our tooling on there. We have an underside shaft. We're actually going to have a loose fit. This is going to cause runout. It's going to cause size problems. And if we allow this to continue, we're going to accelerate the wear of the shaft as far as the OD and the ID of the tooling. And we're also going to affect it as spacer wear where it's going to be where the spacer is moving on the roll and this is going to affect our alignment. Check your shafts to make sure that we don't have any big lines or deep grooves in there. We can use a uh, micrometer of course to check especially where the roll is that's where the most wear is going to be and we can check real close up here by the shoulder where normally a spacer goes so that we can see just exactly what the original OD of the shaft was. The industry standard for the tolerance for undersize of a shaft is one thou per one inch of shaft. So if I have a two inch diameter shaft, I want to look at replacing or reworking those shafts when I get down to two or three thousandths worth of tolerance undersize.